So you're thinking about putting the Glock 30 in your EDC rotation. This video is specifically for you, my boy. What's happening, fam? It's your boy, Big Ron in the building, man. And for real, one of you guys requested I do this video. And I already did a couple of videos in the past giving my first impressions on the Glock 30. And I actually EDC'd it for about over a year. But I did trade that out for my Glock 45. I'm gonna tell you why a little later. I decided to take the Glock 30 back out to the range and I honestly feel different about it, bro. So here we go, let's get into it. Here is the Glock 30 Gen 4 as it sits right now. See your boy got the handle it grip on there. The 13 round magazine with the edge grip, a boo boo booty light with a laser on it. And I went and shaved down the beaver tail just so I can still take advantage of the beaver tail. But it's just better for my grip, I'm just say that. Now I haven't shot this little joint right here in a while, man. And honestly, I really miss it, bro. Because after EDC in this joint, it being my baby, for the longest, my first Glock actually, and being chambered in 45 ACP. Y'all see, your boy sporting them black hollow points right there. After all that, I traded it for my Glock 45, bro. Why would I do that? Number one, nine mil is a whole lot cheaper to train with than 45 ACP at the moment, you feel me? Where I'm at, I can get a hundred, I can get a hundred piece Smith nugget box of nine mil for about $26. Getting a 50 piece McNugget with the 45 ACP is gonna cost me about 30, 40 bones. It's a no brain on which one is cheaper to train with, my boy. Your boy made a frugal choice. But there is one thing about the Glock 30 after not shooting it for a while that I really forgot and I really remember why I don't like this particular thing about this joint. And I'm gonna go ahead and tell you it's not the size. Even though Glock made the drop in the bucket, plastic, forget me sights right this particular thing right here oh it just get on my nerves bro it just it just get on my nerves so much about this joint but it is something that you can change so if you're thinking about getting a glock 30 stay tuned first and foremost on the glock 30 i do not know if there's an mos version of this joint so if you want to put a red dot on here you're gonna have to go get that meal that's some extra to change right there you're gonna have to spend the glock 30 regularly comes with a 10 piece mcnugget joint right here it's sitting there nice and flush you feel what I'm saying? That's what it regularly looks like. That's what it come looking like, right? But on this joint right here, let me see if I can get the other hand. The pinky sits just perfect, right? You feel what I'm saying? The pinky sits just perfect. So if you got medium sized big hands like me, that won't be a problem. If you got smaller hands, that might be an issue, my boy. If you got larger hands, it might be an issue, my boy. You can always go with the 13 round Glock 21 magazine with the X grip on there just to see how it fills it out. It fills that gap in between the magazine right there. You get a nice full of grip to be able to get your shots on point and not have to worry about comfort when you're shooting, my boy. Which I don't think anybody worries about comfort when they're shooting in a real situation, but at the range, this gonna really help you out. As far as light choices, I do got the Boo Boo Con on there right now. That is coming on pretty soon. I uh, was gonna change it out for Olight, but I'm thinking I might go stream light just like what I got on my Glock 45 because I am really enjoying that light. I just like the way that one sit. If y'all want a video on that one versus this one, y'all let me know. But getting down to business, besides the sights on here, because I have said in the past that I was gonna change out these sights, I'm starting to realize in a situation outside of regular target shooting, the sights won't even matter, bro, to be honest with you. So I still want to change them, but I don't know what I would change them to just yet. You still not paying attention to your sights if somebody up on you trying to, you know what I'm trying to do you dirty. You know what I'm saying? So that's not something I'm really concerned about right now. But this thing right here irks my mug nerves. You feel me? And it all comes down to that trigger, bro. Now the Glock 30 being a thicker Glock than my 9mm Glock, let me grab the 9mm real quick. If you can see right here on the right side, we got the Glock, we got the Glock 30. This is my Glock 45. It's a little thinner, you feel me? So 
The reason I bring that up is because with the thinness comes a thinner trigger. So with the thickness comes a thicker trigger. Now maybe this is just specific to the Gen 4s, but let me try to get that in focus for y'all real quick. If you can see those ridges right there on the Glock 30, I don't know if you can see them, hopefully you can. But if you see those ridges right there on the Glock 30, they suck. I'ma be a whole, I'm 100% honest with you. They suck, bro. They actually hinder the way you shoot this joint, right? Because not having the ridges, let me see if you can see right there. Get the focus on. Not having the ridges on a Gen 5, it actually allows for a better trigger pull, bro. But having those ridges right there on the glove, I, I, I think I see what they were trying to do. I think I think they what they were trying to do with the ridges on the trigger on the Glock 30 Gen 4 or Gen 4s if this is regular. I don't really know. I don't have any Gen 4s besides this one. But I think what they were trying to do is give you some texture on the trigger for you to be able to do what you got to do. What? It may be just me, bro. Maybe you like it. Somebody that's watching this, maybe you like the ridges on it, but me, they suck, bro. You feel what I'm saying? And I, and I really don't like that. Let me, I'm gonna try my best to explain it. The way that the Glock safety sits in there, let me see if I can get you, bam, there we go. The way that the Glock safety sits inside of that trigger, that's all the space that you get inside there. Everything else is tapered off with those ridges. So that little itty bitty piece of space it's tapered off here and it's tapered off there, making the trigger press suck. But this is something that you can change, bro. For me, I think I might have to go ahead and change it because I don't EDC this joint as much anymore, but I still like it. So maybe that's something I can change. Y'all let me know in the comment section if y'all suggest a type of trigger that I can put in here. But it's a regular Glock trigger. It's just those ridges on the side that I really, I, I ain't jacking it, bro. I'm, I'm not, I don't, I don't like it at all. But all in all, besides the trigger, bro, the Glock 30 Gen 4 is a great pickup, bro. You get your regular, degular block, which everybody loves to call it. Everybody like to call it block. I like the Glocks, bro, because they are reliable than a mug. You feel me? I ain't never got to worry about this joint jamming as long as I take care of it. Major plus. Also, with the Glocks, you know you get to customize these joints to the high heavens and back. Super plus, too, because if something on here that you don't like, like I don't like the trigger, man, you can always get it changed out for something else. Everybody and their mama is making parts to be able to be replaced on the Glock, bro. That being said, if you're thinking about EDC in this joint, my boy, go for it, man. It's always, you, you, you can't go wrong when you get your Glock, bro. You can't go wrong, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? You got people that love Sigs, people that love Canics. I just so happen to be a fan of Glocks, bro. You can't go wrong with a Glock, my boy. But that training, might kick in your, in your head a little bit. You're gonna have to be a little more partic particular with your training because 45 ACP is way more expensive to get right now. I don't know about the future, but right now, it's more expensive to get than your nine mils, bro. So all in all, on a major scale, out of all the pistols that I shot, the Glock 36 out of cool eight, bro, to be honest with you. Eight out of 10 out of all the joints that I shot just because it's reliable. You can customize it however you like, however you like. And if you ever shot 45 ACP, you already know the type of ballistic advantage you're gonna have over some other rounds. And some people like to call it the two world war winners. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I ain't into that. I'm not a history aficionado. You feel me? But 45 ACP is not bad at all, my boy. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, specifically you, bro. Let me know if you decide to go ahead and get this joint. I love it. I think you're gonna love it. I see you in the next one, my boy. Peace out.